Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In recent Photoshop updates, Adobe added a brand new feature that can add a lighting effect to the photos. And I am about to show you how to achieve remarkable results using a fresh feature currently available exclusively in Photoshop. If you haven't already, please update your Photoshop to the latest version to use this feature. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in. First of all, we need to transform the image into a darker composition. To do this, navigate to adjustment layer, select the exposure adjustment and then slide the exposure down to darken the image. Now change the blending mode to linear burn. You will observe a more pronounced intensification of darkening effect. Now our goal is we want to add a spotlight effect and enhance the texture of the image. Let's begin with the spotlight. Now to illuminate the scene, ensure you have selected the layer mask and set the foreground color to black. When we paint with black, it hides the adjustment layer allowing the light to shine through. Now grab the gradient tool, choose the foreground to background gradient which goes from black to white and opt for the radial gradient option. As you drag, you will notice the image starts to brighten. However, here comes the exciting part. Observe these small dots here. We can now pull it down allowing us to create directional light. This game changing feature replicates the same effect that the lighting effect used to offer in the render filter. Once you have adjusted the direction of the light, you can also manipulate the lights fall off by dragging this midpoint. This means that uh, you can precisely determine how the light gradually diminishes or falls off from its brightest point. By moving this midpoint, you can control the spread and intensity of the illumination to suit your specific creative vision, which allows you to craft a truly customized and visually pleasing lighting effect. It's quite powerful. Click, now click off the mask to preview the lighting effect by itself. If you compare the before and after, you will see you have successfully created that stunning light effect. Now let's move on to enhancing the texture of our image. We are going to boost the texture in selected light areas because when we light an object or subject from the side, texture tend to become more prominent. So to do this, head over to channels panel and now focus on the red channel. Our goal is to make selection based on the red channels information. Simply hold down the control key and click on the red channel thumbnail. You will notice the selection marquee appears. This way we have selected only the information from the red channel. Now return to the layers panel and select the background layer. What we want to do next is copy only the selected pixels. Hold down the control or command key and simply press J. This action duplicates the selected pixels onto a new layer. If you hide the background, you will see that only the areas we selected from the red channel are visible. Okay, let's unhide the background now. Now to boost the texture in these selected areas, simply change the blending mode of the duplicated layer to overlay. You may notice it might look a bit odd at this point, but don't worry, we are not done yet. Simply go to the filter menu, navigate to other and choose high pause. When you do this, you will see the enhanced texture starting to appear. Let's compare the image before and after applying the high pass filter. You will notice how the texture in the selected areas pop, creating a stunning captivating effect. With this new feature, we have successfully created a simple and yet powerful lighting effect and enhanced the texture of our image. That's it for this video friends. If you found this tutorial valuable, please drop a comment and let me know what you have learned. If you are new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification to stay up to date with my future tutorials. Until next time, take care and happy editing.